my webcam will not stay upright. There we go. That's better. Okay, so I've been sitting in my room, eating Chinese takeout, watching Linkara's History of Power Rangers, and refreshing my Tumblr dash for like the last hour and a half, waiting for this to show up. There was a low quality version, which I reblogged on my Tumblr, but I was waiting for the high quality version because I knew Cartoon Network would release, release rather, not relays, release the trailer as well officially once it had dropped at the panel. It's still not quite right either. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Um, and I, I want to do a live reaction to, of it to you. I didn't watch the low quality version. I didn't watch this when it first showed up. I did open it up on YouTube here so I could record a larger version of it with the screen capture. So let's let's just do this. Let's just watch this sucker. Man, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm really looking forward to this movie so much, guys. You have no idea. We do have a date, too. It's um, September 2nd at, I think, like 6 or 6.30 p.m. or something like that. So that's actually not super far off, either. Oh, I'm so hyped. All right, let's go. Yeah, this is the new song. I uh, shared this on my Discord. As much as I've loved dismantling the Empire and saving all your planets, I can't wait to get home and spend some quality time with my friends. Okay, so he's been back to Homeworld at least a little bit here. Um, unless that was a communication from Earth. So we did see what looked like a gem tower dome attached to his house now, so maybe he can communicate from Earth. Could this be... This is Gem Town on Earth. This is the town that we saw where the barn used to be, or at least seemingly where the barn used to be um, in, in the background of the movie poster. That there... In the back could be the tower we saw. That clock tower could be the tower we saw. That's so freaking cool. That looks like a weapon shop. Maybe Bismuth works there. Oh, this is so freaking neat. Oh, look how big Connie is. Exactly like this, and never change. Now, not gonna happen. Oh. Have to yeah, that's what I thought. That's what it looked like. Um, it's a drill and an injector that's also it looks like a ship. That's unfortunate. I want my ever back. Oh, she's stretchy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pausing again. I'm pausing a lot for this uh, one minute and 50 second long video, apparently. Okay, so she's stretchy like a cartoon, which is neat. Also kind of reminded me of of Luffy from uh, One Piece. And Steven at least seems to think that she's here specifically for him, that she's doing this specifically because he's here, which fits with my theory pretty well, I think. Also, the fact that they're using the, the true kind of love, the new song, as the background for this does seem to suggest that love or even maybe twisted love versus true love is a theme in this movie so I might have gotten that right too <sighs> like 41 hours until the destruction of all organic oh that's injector fluid and okay <clears throat> if she's got access to an injector with injector fluid in it then either she's found a way to create injector fluid without pink diamond, pink injector fluid without pink diamond, or she used to be affiliated with pink diamond. Organic life? Yeah, like the animals. Wait, okay, did, did Peridot say, okay, so she said ever, she said all life on earth, all organic life on earth, right? So this is obviously a next generation injector, an injector that can affect an entire planet at once rather than having to stick to small kindergartens. That's terrifying. Insects. You know, people. <laughs> action staff. Action staff. Yeah. Ooh, garden dies. Yeah. The song is great, too. Uh, it's a Stalin Zack. Oh, nice. Oh. 
Are they actually finally going to get to, like, be romantic with each other, like, explicitly now that they're um, a little bit older? Because that would be cool. That was cute, though, wasn't it? Um, no, the song is great. I mean, I might talk about the song separately, but it's really cool. If you haven't listened to it yet, you should. It doesn't give anything about the movie away explicitly. And it's got this cool, like, I don't know, there's a there's a techno synthy element to it because all the music in the show has that element to it. But it's also got this really cool, like, funky, like, lounge music vibe to it that I really adore. That, that looks like that that there with him walking up to whoever the villain is going to turn out to be on top of the injector ship. Or maybe it's just a giant injector launched down from a ship. I don't freaking know. Um, looked like a climactic final battle setup thing to me. That was good. Uh, it didn't give hardly anything away. It didn't even confirm to us the name of the villain. Um, or whether or not the, the main characters know or know of the villain. Since we didn't really see any reactions to the villain first showing herself. Um, it probably gave... I know I, I literally said when I was talking about the poster that I wanted the um, the trailer to be vague like the poster was and not give anything explicitly away, but I think it gave away too little, actually, because I don't feel like I know anything. Though I, that's not true either. We saw confirmation of Gemtown, which I don't know what it's going to be called. I'm just going to keep calling it Gemtown one way or the other, though, because that sounds fun. Um, we got confirmation of Gemtown. We seem to have gotten confirmation that Steven has ways to communicate with Gems off-world very easily now. We know there's a love theme. We have at least a better look at the villain's design and at her powers. And we do know what the threat's going to be. We know that it's going to be a giant injector trying to and destroy the earth all at once. So it's not like we don't know anything, it's just we don't know anything that seems really substantive. It's kind of crazy. It's a good trailer, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. That's a good trailer. It hyped me up without giving away too much, though I would have liked to have at least heard the villain's name. <sighs> and because this does come out in, what did I say, September 2nd, so, I mean, like, a month plus a week in a couple of days I doubt we're going to get another trailer besides this one we might get TV spots but I don't really expect them to show anything this trailer didn't but still it was a good trailer um and there you go there's my reaction to it I, I don't think it, it confirmed or disproved my recent theory about who the villain could be uh, so that video is still technically relevant so if you haven't seen it yet I'll put a thing up in the little corner thing and so you guys can go check that out i think it was pretty good in the meantime though this has been aj22 and i will talk to you guys later <laughs>